Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll be reviewing an awesome full body rugged case for your Galaxy S10 smartphone starting right now. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular reviews for various smartphones and accessories like this one, smartwatch reviews, DIY videos, tutorials and much more. We have a dedicated playlist with lots of videos for Samsung smartphones, be sure to check it out. Alright guys, today I have this iBlason, I hope I pronounce it right full body rugged case with a built in screen protector for my S10 plus to review. Just so you guys know as usual this is not a sponsored video and I was not endorsed to review this. It's just my personal unbiased opinion. To start with I'm a big fan of iBlossom's case. It all started with my daughter hit a spoon hard on my S7 Edge which did have a rugged case without a screen protector and my S7 Edge now rests in peace. Since then I have made sure I got a full body case with a built in screen protector. I even did a 20 foot drop test with the iBlossoms case for my S8 which you can find it linked in the card sections. You can watch it once you're done watching this one. Guys you can also find links to purchase this case in the description down below where you'll find link to try Amazon Prime for absolutely free and that's where I got this case from and it was delivered in just two days. Be sure to check it out. Let me show you guys what happened what happens if you don't use a rugged case. I did a review for this magnetic flip case linked up here which by far is the best full body case in terms of looks and ease of putting it on. I accidentally dropped my S10 plus with the flip case on while pulling it out of my pocket approximately 3 foot and this is what happened. Keep in mind my S10 plus is all fine. This is just the case which was cracked. So then I ordered this full body rugged case and it came in this nice packaging. I really like the iBlossoms box design. It looks quite contemporary. They even have a military drop tested icon with a holographic uh, logo beneath it. At the back it says made in China with the product number and all. Let's open it up. They even made effort to let the user know about the included installation guide with a web address. Inside the box you can find a thank you card with the installation guide. Don't worry, I will show you anyways the installation process coming up in a second. So this is the full body rugged case with a built in screen protector. I got the black color but you will get various colors to choose from. The back part is clear with the camera cut out and the front screen protector has the earpiece and the hole punch cut out. It was clearly listed on their page that the fingerprint sensor will not work which is one of the major drawback and even with the magnetic flip case the fingerprint sensor did not work. So now let me show you how to put it on with ease. Start off with sliding the phone in the screen protector, align the physical buttons with the cutouts and you should be easily able to put it on in a second. Once done, slide the bottom of the screen protector on the back rugged part and work your way around to seal it up from all the sides. So that's it. Looks pretty slim and sturdy to me. In fact, I can clearly show off my pearl white color of the S10 Plus. Now let's test the button sensitivity and the touchscreen receptiveness. You know what, it works great and no complaints. Let's test the ports to see if they can accommodate a broader adapter. Let's try out a USB-C cable. And it works great. I actually like the adapter cover to prevent dust and debris getting in. Now let's try out the 3.5mm audio jack and it fits perfect. There is a cutout for speaker and the microphone so you get the uninterrupted sound quality. 
Now to take the case off, you have to use either a coin or a nail uh, at the groove provided on the bottom right of the front screen protector from where you will start pulling the back part off and work your way around the entire case. I personally found it to be easier to put it on versus pulling it off. So in terms of the downside to this case is the fact that the fingerprint sensor does not work. Let me show you. I even tried adding a fingerprint, a fingerprint with the case on but it does not recognize the fingerprint at all. Now I have used a case with a cutout for the fingerprint sensor and believe me it's not a good viewing experience since you already have a hole punch cutout on top of which you will clearly see the fingerprint cutout while viewing content especially videos. Secondly this is not a waterproof case. I have tried a waterproof case and the big problem with the waterproof case is that the speakers and the earpiece sound sounds hollow and echoing since they are all sealed up so just stay away from water for this particular case so apart from these two negative point this case is the perfect full body case for my s10 plus um, which will protect my phone from a fall front back or sideways and that's what it all matters so I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos and take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.